How to grow leeks from store-bought leeks. Hello, welcome to Seven Savings Garden where we talk about gardening, ways to save money and other special events. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you get notified of all upcoming videos. So today we're going to be growing our leeks from store-bought leeks like this. Um, all you have to do is get it. I just got this uh, leeks from the store and as you can see the roots are still there and and the stem is still there so uh, what you're gonna do is we're gonna cut it and um we, we're gonna cut it and use uh the bottom part uh to start uh, to get a seedling from it and the top part we can still use it to cook or we can use, still use it in our uh, kitchen to do whatever we have we want to do so that would help us be able to get uh legs so you want to cut it like two or three inches from the stem like that um uh you can cut it more than that that's fine but you want to give it a little bit of uh, room uh, for the uh, roots to grow and for the stem to be able to have enough nutrients for it to uh, to start germinating. So once we cut we cut it like that, um, we're going to have to uh, put it in water. Um, so you can just plant the cut um, uh, leeks like that without... You can just put it in the ground like that and, and grow it or plant it in the container like that. But to improve... Um, to improve the survival and to make it do much better, I'm going to soak it in water. So what we need is we need a couple of toothpicks. I'm going to use two toothpicks right here to uh, to soak. You want to suspend the, the roots in water so that way the roots are able to, um, the bottom, the stem and the roots are going to be able to germinate and do well. So what I'm going to do is just going to suspend it in the water like that. So that one is done. Uh, you want to make sure that you maintain that. If the water goes down, you want to fill up the water and uh, uh, make sure that the roots and the part of the stem is touching the water for the for it to continue to um, to do well. So we're just gonna do all of them. We're gonna do all of them like that, and and just make sure that we, with this last one, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add this little hormone. It is it's a is a uh, rooting agent that helps. Uh, cut plant curtains or uh, fruit curtains grow so i'm just gonna um add a little bit of root cut into it and see if this root um helps it do much better than just regular water so i just put a rooting, rooting agent in there and just mix it up a little bit make sure it's dissolved in the water then we're just gonna put it in there and that is it so what we're gonna do now um if you're growing indoors you can put it on the windowsill um, or where there's no sunlight for it to grow or you can just put it outside and uh, You just want to make sure that it has enough sunlight and the temperature is um, good enough for it to above 50 degrees uh, It should do well um, it, it will do much better if it's like 70 or 80 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, so uh, this is it. We're all done uh, With this now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move it outside later on um I'm gonna move it outside and just continue watching it uh, let me know in the comments below if you've done something like this and let me know how you how it went or if you're growing any other herbs from cut, cutting like this so this is it um, about eight hours later on I put it outside I put this right here I just put it in my greenhouse so um, it's after about eight hours as you see the the the, the they're trying to shoot out right here so we're just gonna let let it stay there for a couple of more hours a couple of days um my goal is to leave it for about a week and then just transplant it into the containers so this is it after about uh 24 hours after about 24 hours is doing great um we're gonna uh take a look at it uh, again at it and see uh, just the hours as the time goes on it's gonna keep changing and the uh, it's gonna keep growing so it grows very fast this is about 36 hours later on and it's doing great this uh, the water is going down so we just have to keep filling the water to make sure that the stem and the roots are in water so um with the two uh toothpicks uh it's still not really uh straight up i think i'm gonna add one more uh, toothpick three of them to make it uh, more stable in the water so that way it doesn't really fall one side go on one side like that um, and then I'm just gonna add some water so this is it after about 48 hours um, 
going to 50 something hours now so I'm, I'm more than 48 hours it's the all of them the leaves the leaves are gonna be coming out very soon so I'm just gonna add one more um, toothpick on them to balance it up hopefully this uh, puts it in a better uh, uh, suspending position uh, but what I what what I what I'm just gonna do is just leave it there and then we'll see how it goes so this is it again after about three three days um, it's been three days now and as you can see it's still coming out all of them are doing great uh, I don't see any right now I don't see any much difference between the other ones so this is it about uh, four days afterwards um, it's been about four or five days right now so as you can see they are doing great the leaves are out and as you can see the uh, it looks like the one with the hormone is a little bit faster um, it's a little bit better than the other ones but I don't see I don't think it's a big difference right now so all of them are doing well uh, they all the leaves are coming out very soon we should have some at least um, good set of leaves um, for it so we're just gonna leave it here like I said just make sure that the water just maintain the water level especially if it's outside or if it's in the greenhouse like this it's gonna dry the water is gonna dry up very fast you just want to make sure you check it daily so that the water doesn't dry out just keep filling filling um filling the container with water if it's the also the plant is also absorbing some of the water so this is it after about seven about after about seven days it's been a, yeah it's been about six or seven days since we planted this we put this into our container right here as you can see the leaves all of them the leaves at least uh the leaves are are coming out see the one on the left is much it uh, looks like it's much bigger than the rest of them and so let's take a look at the roots the roots you see the all the white um, extra white roots uh, those are the new roots that just came out um, so they are doing great the roots are out if you plant it now it should be fine we should be able to uh, plant it now but I'll leave it for one or two more days before I um, before I transplant it this one is the same thing the roots are really all the roots are out um, we have a lot of roots on those over there this one is falling see this is balancing so I think the best option to do would be to use four of those toothpicks to make sure it's at least completely balanced on all the sides so four toothpicks uh, are suggest if you're doing it uh, use four toothpicks so that you hold, hold it on on all the sides or three toothpicks on different sides so as you can see these additional two more days uh, they are ready they are more than ready to be transplanted so i'm going to transplant them right now uh, into containers and uh, i think i'll transplant two into into a container and uh, one into the garden itself um so i'll see later on maybe like in a uh it was the middle or uh, end of the growing season i'll see if i can make a video of how they look during the process but right now we're just gonna uh transplant them into containers and then uh, give it a few days uh, and see how it goes so now i'm just gonna take i'm just gonna take the three of them uh take the tools and then i'm gonna plant into containers right here as you can see all of them the roots are out and they are good um, also, let me know, like in the description and the co uh, comments below. Just let me know if um, if if this is type of videos that you would like to watch, and uh, if you've done something like this in the garden, or if you've done something like this on your windowsill. Just let me know in the comments below, or uh, if you did something different or something better. Let me know. We're all here to learn from each other, so let me know. So here, I'm just gonna plant it into my. Uh, I have my pot, uh, my container here, and my potting mix inside um i make my own potting mix i have a video that shows you how you can make your own potting mix for pennies and it, it the potting mix does really really well so i'll see if i can put a link to those um the couple of those videos of potting mix and seed study mix in there i'll see if i can put a video to that uh so now i'm just going to continue filling up the potting mix i'll fill it up to like about 90 percent before i plant it so that way the roots have enough uh, room to grow and spread around uh, in the container so um, I think it's this is good this is about 80 or 90 percent so now we're just gonna dig a little um, take out the, the, the toothpicks and then just dig a little hole you just want to make sure you bury 
uh, the roots and the stem, um, most of the, the roots and the stem, so that way uh, they're covered and they're able to absorb some nutrients from the soil. So we're gonna do this on the opposite side of the container. And then I'm just gonna use the water that they were standing in there to water it. After planting or transplanting anything, um, either in the garden or in containers, you wanna make sure you soak um, you soak the uh, the seedlings or the the seeds so that way they can uh, maintain that humidity and they, they can grow better. So don't just plant it into a dry mix and just leave it. If you do that, your plants are gonna die. So I just I'm just uh, making sure that everything, the whole um, top area is soaked and, and that's it. So now I'm just gonna plant one of them, the third or last one in the garden. So you wanna do the same thing, take out the toothpicks that we use and then we're just gonna dig a little hole and just bury it and make sure that the uh, make sure that the uh, the the stem and the roots um, is completely covered and it should be okay. Um, make sure you subscribe to the channel. That's the only way it lets me know that you love the the, uh, the videos I'm producing and you wanna uh, you're interested in watching more videos. Please don't forget to subscribe. Hit the subscribe and the notification bell so that way I, every time I upload a new video. Um, you're gonna be able to watch it. Okay, so we now we're done with that. We're just gonna water it and then we let it go. So this is it. Um, this is what we planted. It's been like two, three days now. They're still looking good. Uh, it looks like they are doing well. They just maintain, continue the trend. As for the rooting agent that I put in there, um, there was a little bit of difference, but not that much. So if you have a rooting agent, you can put it in there and it will help you. But if you don't have it, you don't need to buy it. It doesn't make too much of, the, of a difference um, with, the, uh, with the, the two of them. So that is it for today. I hope you liked the video. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel and uh, don't forget to share. Thanks for watching and happy growing, everybody.